Welcome to my lecture online. Sometimes we're given a problem that is a complex fraction in disguise. You would take a look at that and say, well, that doesn't look complex, but when we rewrite it like this, it will indeed look like a complex fraction. So this can be written as 1 over x minus 1 over y divided by 1 over x plus 1 over y. And now indeed, it is a complex fraction. And we're trying to find the lowest common denominator. Notice we have x and y as the denominators, which means the lowest common denominator is simply the product of x and y, which means we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by x times y, like so. Now when we multiply these together, let's see what we get. So we have 1 over x times xy minus 1 over y times xy divided by 1 over x times xy plus 1 over y times xy. Notice here the x's cancel out, here the y's cancel out, here the x's cancel out, and here the y's cancel out. So this can be written as y minus x over y plus x. And so that would then be the simplified form of our original problem. Now notice sometimes things can get kind of messy like this. Sometimes it's easier just to go and look at it and go, all right, when I multiply the x times y by 1 over x, the x's cancel out and I'm left with 1 times y. Minus here when I multiply these together, the y's cancel out and I'm left with a 1 times x. Here, when I multiply these together, the x's cancel out, and I'm left with a y. And here, the y's cancel out, and I'm left with the 1, plus, a 1 times x. And so, sometimes, very quickly, you can get to the final result without having to write out that intermediate step. And that is how it's done.